we did it, Print Fam. We made it to Friday. It's been an emotional roller coaster of a week. I'm glad it's Friday. I've got to get some brochures printed. My wife is going swimming with the kids, so I got to have her come in here and help me put all those blank pages in like I talked about yesterday. So if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, make sure you go back and watch it. Um, other than that, I just have some administrative stuff to do. I need to pay Bob. It's Friday, so I need to pay him. I need to pay for some pens that we outsourced. I need to go add that supplier to the outsourced list. Um, if you guys want access to all of my suppliers that I use throughout the year, you can join Patreon. I have some spreadsheets there that have my cost calculator, my suppliers, my like equipment costs when I'm paying for ink and maintenance and all that fun stuff. So if you want access to that, join on Patreon, no obligation, and it's available for all tiers, as low as $1 a month. Um, I am also, because I'm turning on the Konica, I'm gonna print little thank you cards to add some rigidity to the stickers that we're mailing out to you guys. So um, the two o'clock click stickers, as well as the time to make something stickers and work on the Patreon perks to get those out. So I need to work on the coffee cup design because I haven't even designed that yet. The posters are done, so I'm gonna print those so that I can meet up with Cam and Bob and get them signed and all that fun stuff. So thank you for being here. My name's Darren. Welcome back to the print shop. I'm gonna start by doing my minim my administrative stuff and try not to get sucked in to the internet. <laughs> try to stay focused. It's already 11.15. Ooh, I do have a call as well with a cool company. So I can't tell you about it yet, but I'm excited. Also, Go check out mine and Derek's podcast. Link's down in the description. All right, the printer's warming up so we can print some books. I'm not gonna print all of them because some of them I need to play with the impose because one of the books is a quarter page and one of the books is a half page or maybe two of the books. But in total I have like 12, 20, 20 books that I'm printing. Anyway, today, because I'm making books, I'm using my coil binder. So I thought I would do a little bit of a tour of this machine. It's not the greatest coil binder, but it's definitely not the worst coil binder. I will leave links to it down in the description. Um, it's a true bind, I believe. I don't know, I'll leave links to it. The nice thing about this specific model is you can adjust the left so that when you put papers against it, you can adjust the stop if you need to um, change the position of the holes. You can turn off specific holes. So it's like, if you don't want to, for whatever reason, punch that one, you can. Um, it has got a spinny bar that you can plug in power so that it will auto feed the coil on. It tells you what size of spiral you should have for how many pages you're doing. Um, so it tells you that you want like a 10 millimeter if you're doing like 75 pages of 20 pound You want a 20 millimeter for 164. So it kind of gives you reference, which is nice to have that built onto the machine the Back side here It's got the power to run this thing, which I don't always do and then it has a tray for the punch pieces so it does have a fuse, again, for the power. I don't use the power that often, so never really have to do anything. And then on the side here, it has this pullout that you can change um, from 4.5 millimeters to 6.5 millimeters um, to change the punch pattern. So definitely a good little machine. And they do make automated ones. You can buy one that actually connects to the Konica. Um, I think it's General Binding Company, GBC. 
Um, if you're looking for an automated one, you can get a used one called the GBC AP2, which you can get those for a few thousand dollars. This one is a few hundred. And I have a problem with spending too much money on stuff, so we'll stick with this for now until we can save the print shop. So hashtag save the print shop. Appreciate y'all. Let's get these printed and we'll get them bound. All right, so I'm printing these books and the printer decided it wanted to accordion some of these pages. So that kind of sucks. Hopefully it starts off where it messed up, but we'll have to see. That sucks for me, but I guess we'll find out. It is about 200 pages into the 300 page book. That really sucks. Hold on, it is what it is. For all of those wondering, it did. It picked up right where it left off. I kept all the pages out. I double checked them. It did all of them. So, didn't have to do anything. That was super nice. Homeschooling books for the win. All the books are done, bound and everything. This one's super tiny and super cute. Um, I just wanted to go over pricing because I know that's a question people ask a lot. And I'm not gonna go over every individual book just because every book had a different quantity of pages. But in total, I charged them 29 cents for every double-sided, um, plain, like 20 pound paper, 25 cents if it was single-sided. And then on like this book, it's a 100 pound glossy text. I charged them 50 cents for a double-sided. In a total, their order for all nine books came to $193.56. Doing the math on what it just cost me, not including time, not including the cost of the printer, just ink and paper, $75.50. So a little over $100 in profit. It's not really profit because I, I haven't calculated everything in it, but it gives you an idea of 
what it is and it maybe in total took me an hour to do everything so not terrible not the best but it was decent all right Prefan. it's it's 10 p.m on a friday and i just finished my buddy came over um his Family's doing a family reunion and they bought some of those gators, which I'll link to what those are down in the description. Uh, basically, they're the big face masks. And he wanted to decorate them, so we did some white toner, but since he was here, I didn't record it. Uh, we printed two sheets. We made them about three inches big, just printed them down at the bottom. And it was pretty simple. Ran it on the heat press. I'll link my heat press in the description as well. My heat press is definitely not a starter heat press. I'm working on trying to get a hold of an, a more entry level one like my old black one, which I'm letting someone borrow. Um, but that one, I wouldn't suggest it to a beginner right now anyway. I'm trying to get my whole, my hands on a beginner one. But it's definitely something, having a heat press, being able to do transfers and stuff on the fly, regardless of doing white toner, there's a lot of different options. You can do the vinyl that I have, you can do, pre-made transfers, there's lots of options. So having a heat press, I think for any print shop um, that is trying to diversify their income stream is a good idea. It helps you do anything from embroidered patches to silicone patches to transfers and all that fun stuff. So it's a great, great addition. So it's time to call it though. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. Truly, greatly appreciate you. It, it was Eric that was here, so that's kind of how Cam and I got introduced. If you guys want to support the show, you can do so with the links down in the description. Patreon, Amazon affiliate, other affiliates, custom orders, all that fun stuff. But I do just appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching, liking, subscribing, sharing with friends, and all that fun stuff. Thank you as always, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye, Prim fam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.